Shalom and good day. This is Tehin on Tune T9 back again for another DC review. And in this Detective Comics review, I'll be covering Blue Beetle Graduation Day issue 6 and also Dead Boy Detectives issue 5. So moving into the one that I'll be reviewing first, and that is Blue Beetle. So, first things first, does this cover in any way, shape, or form connect to something that's happening inside of the story? Sure enough, it does, to which it gets a 7.5 out of 10. Now it's time to move into the internal art, which we have a look around the beginning, middle, and end, and also some of the things happening story-wise. So, as the story begins, we catch up with Jaime Reyes and the members of the Justice League, plus uh, some members of the Teen Titans, such as Shazam and also... Uh, Starfire and a couple of others that make the list including Cyborg and things are starting to uh, occur uh, where Jaime Reyes lives as we jump to towards the middle of the story uh, we have quite a number of events taking place uh, of course Starfire has um, gone all out with her hair <laughs> that she looks like a wannabe X-Men but that's neither here or there. And we learn that the Horizon are basically looking for something or looking for a place. As we jump towards the end of the story, uh, we finally have Blue Beetle getting somewhat his own graduation party of sorts. Not just with schooling, but also with his life. For the internal art, I gave a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move into the area of the story rating. Uh, first things first, uh, what was covered in the area of time? Uh, we had weeks later, but this took place uh, weeks after the events of what happened with the, the group known as the Horizon. Um, moving into the area of location, we got no indication of location, though it would help to include it in the story. And uh, moving to the next thing, cast of characters. Uh, cast of characters consisting of Blue Beetle, Jaime Reyes, we also had Ted Cord, we had the, the members of the Justice League, we had the Yellow Beetle and the Green Beetle. We also had Starfire, uh, we had the Horizon Cyborg, and last but not least, Ted Cord. For the overall story rating in this, I gave it a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move into the Dead Boy Detectives. So as we begin the move into Dead Boy Detectives, issue 5. Does this cover in any way, shape or form connect to something that's happening inside with the story? Sure enough, it does, to which I give it a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move into the internal art, as well as seeing some of the things happening internally around the beginning, middle, and end. So in this part of the story, we end up having one of the characters um, basically looking or catching up with a bit of an old friend. Uh, but he's sort of like seeing him in the spirit, or he's seeing, looking upon him in the spirit realm. But they, of course, can't see them. And we notice that this person, Crystal Palace, has sort of like lost connection to her powers that she had before and is sort of like moved on in her relationship. As we start to move a little bit further into the story, um, we learn that there's sort of like a Kraken type thing, um, <laughs> but in the spiritual realm. I think it's called the Krag, the Krag, and um, of course this is something that they're investigating and also trying to prevent any further deaths from happening. And as we start to jump towards the end, of course another death happens to occur. Whilst Charles and Edwin advance further in this case along with their friend Tanya and also Jai. The internal art in this I gave a 7 out of 10. Now it's time to move in the, into the area of the story. First things first, did we get any indication in regards to the area of time? Um, even like time of day or when it was taking place? No, we didn't. 
Uh, the next is Locations, which the beginning takes place in Los Angeles, and we do get to see like a couple of other places, but they're not really clear as to where they are. Moving into the cast of characters, we had Charles, Edwin, uh, we had Crystal, Palace, uh, Jai, and last but not least, Taylor. For the overall story rating in this, I gave it a 6.5 out of 10, um, as it really needs to tighten things up with some of its storytelling. But overall, I definitely look forward to where the next issue will take us. Hopefully, it will improve in its storytelling and towards the end of this particular arc. Until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day.